So in this video, we're going to talk about integration of, of tangent to the m of x and secant to the n of x when, when, when power is actually even and an odd, right? So they're straight up both. Okay, so what if we're asked to take the integration of tangent to the cube of x secant squared of x dx? Okay, well, notice we have an even power and an odd power. Well, to me, it looks as if I have u substitution here. So the first thing I always look for is u substitution. And so if I set my u to be tangent of x, then the derivative of that is actually secant squared of x dx, which is exactly what we have here. And so this is a simple integral. So this will be now be given as u cubed du. Okay. If I take the integral of that, that is going to be equivalent to Let's say the integral is going to be equivalent to one fourth u to the fourth plus c. Okay, so in this case, our integral is going to be given by one fourth. What was our u tangent? So that becomes tangent to the fourth of x plus c. Okay. Now, what about this one? What if we want to take the integral of tangent to the seventh of x times secant squared of x dx? Well, to me, it looks as if, and you'll see the general pattern. When it, whenever we have the secant squared of x here, we have tangent, always look for u substitution. Okay? And so in this case, if I set my u to be tangent of x, the derivative is actually secant squared of x dx. Okay? And so this integral is given by u to the seventh du. And so we know our integral is going to be given by one eighth tangent to the eighth of x plus c. Okay, so again, uh, nothing difficult. Uh, these ones are very trivial. Now, I'm not going to do this integral, but I just wanted to show you when the roles are reversed. Okay, so on an exam, these are the typical uh, types of integrals you'll actually see because an exam, what you only have like what, an hour or so. You know, right? So you're not going to have all the problems and all the time in the world to do to do this one. But I just want to throw this out there. So. What if, you know, on a homework or something like that, you're given this integral? Tangent squared of x, secant cube of x, dx. Well, now notice our little trick of u substitution does not work. Okay. If I set u to be tangent, I have three secants here. So that would not work. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. If I set u to be secant of x, the derivative is actually secant of x tangent of x, which we actually don't have. And so in this one, actually what we have to do is that we got to split everything up into secant. And so if I look at this, this becomes the integral of secant squared of x minus 1, which I'm using the, uh, which I'm using the, uh, the identity for tangent, times secant cube of x dx. And so when I distribute this, this becomes secant to the fifth of x dx. I'm going to split my integrals up in one, in one step, minus the integral of secant to cube of x dx. Okay. Now, if you've been a fan of my previous videos, you know that we've done this before. And how we do this is actually integration by parts. Okay. Secant to the fifth of x was never done before, but just as an info, this is actually integration by parts also. And so for you to show all your work on an exam, this is probably never gonna, you're probably gonna see these, okay? But this is actually a very long integration. We're gonna do integration by parts with this one and integration by parts with this one, okay? So you can see that the, the secant, the, the odd parts of secant, uh, we use integration by parts to solve them. And so this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but again, for, for our purposes, um, and I'll do this integration in a separate video. I'll do this integration in a separate video. This video is just based on the fact that I want you to want you to know that whenever they're odd and even, we should see this pattern of secant squared of x here. Once we start getting this things complicated as this, where the roles are now switched, where tangent is, is odd, where tangent is even and secant is odd. Well, now we got to be thinking about uh, getting everything in terms of tangent or getting getting everything in terms of 
in terms of secant, okay? And notice that we couldn't have go the other way. Notice we couldn't have used secant squared. Uh, we couldn't have used the identity of a secant because we have three secants here.